Oh, I don't get that. Oh, I better take off my stuff here. Look, if I was to tell you that it would take, it would be a cold day in July if Donald Trump became president of the United States of North America, you would, many, many of you would agree. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I'm sitting in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, and it's July, and it's cold. <laughs> let me explain, let me fake, let me be anonymous, because this is going to be rough. Um, there's a good chance, a very good chance, a more than very good chance that Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, will be president of the United States come uh, will be elected uh, come November. Here's the thing, a couple of things. First of all, uh, Bernie Sanders, let's start with Bernie. Bernie messed up. He, uh, he, he said he was going to he said he was going to go all the way to convention with his movement, right? And he didn't. He stopped and, and supported Hillary, right? Okay. What's wrong with that? America, Americans, I mean, I'm not talking, well, cold-hearted Americans, American Americans, they don't like to be punked. They don't, they don't like somebody who can be punked, let me put it that way. And by doing that, he basically uh, didn't go all the way. He's not a, he's not a, I hate to quote, he's not a winner. You know, he would have went all the way, at least, and if not, then fair and square, you know, blah, blah, and as far as, that would be something. Let me explain to you what I mean by, by being punked. Uh, uh, I just came back from, from the East Coast, I was in New York and Virginia, but, uh, yeah, sorry, well, Virginia and New York, and uh, in New York they have a mayor, Mayor de Blasio, not Bill de Blasio, and when he got elected mayor, something happened to the police, there was a bunch of state cops, uh, I don't know, all kinds of cops there, he had a function, and they disagreed with something he said, and they turned it, their back on him, and, and then he allowed that to happen, there was no repercussions, he got punked. He got punked, and now the police own Bill de Blasio. Let, let me go further. I, I, I'll get back to David Dinkins at some particular point. That, uh, that's, that's far and away. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. When, when Barack Obama was, sit, was, was doing his State of the Union that year with all you know, the, the two houses in the Senate and whatever, and the, and the, the, the Chief Justice as well, the, the Supreme Court there, and that first term, congressman yelled out, you lied and there was no consequences, he got punked. You, you, you see where I'm going with this? The problem with this situation, not, not fact, in fact, the whole Obama presidency was one where uh, uh, he, 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 they said, well, there's instruction here, instruction there, but he wasn't strong enough to do what he did. And plus he did some moves from the very beginning that he didn't rally his followers, the people that would have his back to his cause. This is the same thing that David Dinkins did when he first became the first black mayor of New York. You, you, you know what happened with him? He, first of all, the first thing he did was he, 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 he retained, as he had two deputy mayors, and one of them was, was from the last administration, from the Koch administration. And he threw a lot of his, Sonny Carson, a lot of people that helped him uh, get elected, he threw them under the bus. Consequently, and then he's, and basically he got punked. It was a punk <laughs> of mayority, right? Okay, now let's leave all that stuff aside. Here's the problem. Now, at first I thought there was some sort of uh, chance for Hillary. Hillary ain't got no chance when she chose uh, uh, the Kane guy, the, 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 the senator from, from the state that I vote in now, Virginia, right? Oh, he's, he's a lot of things, a politician. He's like milk toast. I think what they thought, they didn't want somebody to outshine Hillary. So they figured, let's take somebody that's, that do certain things, that will show up certain things, but not outshine her. But the same programs wants to, you know, the, the, the TPP, which is basically, you know, jobs going, more jobs going out of the states. You know, that's how it's going to be read by people. Or uh, well, things like, oh, we're going to do the Syrian thing, we're going to attack Russia. Everybody knows. Come on. What, who has attacked Russia successfully? Nobody. Nobody. Napoleon tried it. Hitler tried it. You think Hillary's going to win by attacking Russia? Come on. A boogeyman kind of book? It ain't going to work, right? Okay, forget all that stuff. But here's the main reason why Trump is going to win. There are certain states 
it, it, like they call it the Rust Belt or the industrial, whatever, like 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 Wisconsin, Michigan, states like that. That these jobs, this T, this um, you know, NAFTA that Bill Clinton put in, were, because they came in, the jobs went out, you know, and the people are hurting. They're gonna vote. They're gonna vote. They're gonna be vim and vote for Donald Trump. The people, the Democrats, or the, the say say the people who went who, who went for you know who went for Bernie Sanders, and they, they yeah they might come out and vote, but they're not going to be it's the same thing happened with David Dinkins. They're not going to bring a lot of people along with them. You see? Let me close my door here. I'm in my office. They're not going to bring a lot of people along with them. See, you know, in other words, uh, uh, but when you go on electoral season, you, if you're enthusiastic, you're going to say you're going to bring your neighbors with you and stuff like that. But they're just going to say, "Oh, I got to vote." They're going to do that. They're going to be under. They're not going to work. You know, these months ahead, you know, the, the Bernie force is not going to work that hard for Hillary Clinton. But the Trump people, they're going to be on it, on it, on it. So sad to say, let me just stop here. Just sad to say, if, look, somebody like me, see, okay, I'm voting in Virginia now. If 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 uh, absentee ballot. If Kane can't win in Virginia, uh, you know, that's it's like a given. He's supposed to take the state of Virginia, but I'm not in it because I vote my conscience. I can't vote for Trump, and I definitely can't vote for Hillary Clinton. See that Honduran flag right there? She messed up Honduras. She messed, she had a, she, 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 she supported, I wouldn't say, I would even say perpetrated a coup in Honduras. So. I ain't, there's no way, she's a war market, chicken hawk, whatever you want, a neo-con, neo-liberal, all those stuff, kind of things. I just had somebody, um, that's why I'm going off, but I have to go I just had a, a brother here on campus saying that, oh, Trump is going to make a good president because he can't be bought. Hillary is bought. And that's what people, are, that's what real people are thinking. So, sad to say, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm, I have to vote. Either I, I have to see, check my ballot and see if the uh, Party for Socialism and Liberation is going to be running in Virginia. If not, um, I might vote for the Green Party. I don't know, but I'll vote for somebody. I never, I never not vote. Some people say, well, you're wasting your vote. What do you mean I'm wasting my vote? I'm voting my conscience. My vote is my vote. I vote my conscience. <laughs> right? So, let me stop here because I'm really upset. I'm really upset because, and, and the Democratic Party didn't even take suggestions from the from, from the progressives, from, from Bernie Force, Sanders Force, so they dissed them completely. Oh, look, I'm not going to say what's going to happen with the world or whatever have you. I ain't in it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in South Africa, I live here, I go to school here, I'll be here for the next four, eight, I'll be here for the next eight years at least. So, good luck. To my countrymen, good luck to me, to my sisters, to my family, whatever. Y'all take care. This has been T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.